Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup, part 133. And in this segment, it is time for yet another bush race. This time, we are going to Richmond International Raceway for the Funai 250. Going to skip out on qualifying session for the next truck race, but oh well. Let's do it. EA Sports welcomes you to one of the most storied tracks in all of racing, the Richmond International Raceway. Today's NASCAR Bush Series race will be exciting from the start as these drivers will take advantage of the wide track to establish good track position early on. Fender to Fender Racing and fierce lead battles will be sure to make this an exciting race you won't want to miss. The race is only minutes away. Get ready for green flag racing here under the lights. Yeah, under the lights, short track racing and all that good shit. Well, it's a short track, so maybe my car will behave maybe we'll see the qualifying on the pole so that's a good uh well it's a possibly good sign whether or not it's actually a good sign is yet to be determined but hey let's do it so here we go starting alongside Dwayne Borland in the 135 62 laps around Richmond is a go for the NASCAR Bush series and I'm going to get clear off of turn two into the lead. Now, how badly am I going to screw up turn three? Not at all. All right, cool. Turn three is something I've definitely been trying to improve over the course of this LP here. Oh, my God. A little too heat. A little too heated into turn one. Car got a bit upset. It's fine, though. I'm not expecting to win this race, unless stupid shenanigans happen, which is very possible, considering what's been happening just with this entire LP. Yeah, was okay, going a little too low. Tapping the apron. This is so sad, Alexa play do. By the way, pick up the new Psycho Stick album. It's really good. It's also called Do. Anyway, I'll get some pressure here from uh, Ashton Lewis. For the lead as we have a bit of a two car breakaway. See how long that lasts, depending on how much I hold him up into turn three. I, I just cannot enter. Oh god, lock up. I just cannot enter turn three the way they can. Just can't do it. I'm not good enough. And the car is also not good enough. Ooh, ooh. Just slipping a bit. Actually, a lot of bit. It was slipping, but it wasn't sliding. gap here. Okay, we're good. Someone say Tuesday. Oh crap. More oversteer. Sudden oversteer. <laughs> Such is the way of the cobbler. I'm taking very stupid lines around this entire track, I've noticed. At least compared to the AI. That's me. I don't take the correct line, I take the weird line that feels like it works for me. Maybe that's why I'm never, like, any good. Maybe that's why I'm always slow. So I don't take the preferred line. I take the meat, the rhino line. Rhino line! The ultimate truck bed liner, whatever the fuck it was called. Rhino lining, that's it. Moo. Anyways, 10 laps complete. 
And I have a one second lead over Lewis, who is under pressure from Dwayne for second. Oh boy. Is this Flex Seal? To show you the power of Flex Tape, I solved this Let's Play in half. Sounds like Flex Seal, but gay. This is like a th product I saw advertised in like the early 2000s. It's literally like a spray on bed liner for your truck. Instead of having some fucking rubber plastic shit you just put in, just spray it on. So basically, it is Flex Seal for your truck bed. Oh, my one second lead is no more. Probably due in part to how slow that last lap was. Can I have spray on condom? Dude, you mean you just... You don't use flex tape as a condom? Oh my god. Whoa! Car, are you okay? It's okay, Cobbler, it's okay. Uh, it's not okay, the rear tires have given up. Someone's in the pits, probably retiring from the race. I was too busy, too busy trying to not spin out to notice who it was. Collect ourselves and keep going. Uh, looks like Paul Menard is out of the race. Pretty sure that was Menard's car. Hello, Ashton. How you doing? Now is the part where I start driving too aggressively defensive and probably ca cause a uh, wreck of my own foolishness. Ashton's gonna get the run. Oh, that's right, they move up way earlier than I do on the exit. I keep forgetting about that. Damn it. Every time I forget about that. Cobbler, you smoke screen. Not dead. Somehow. Not that angry either, surprisingly. Man, that is a thick layer of smoke. Very thick. Whoa. Extra thick. Oh no. There's another extra thick layer of smoke. Big smoke. It feels at half. Tires are they're, they're uh they're getting tired. The car is becoming very unstable on the entry to three. And now the one two three has gone a foot ahead and taken the lead. Uh huh. Oh shit! Whoops! Sorry, Dwayne. I didn't mean it. Oh my God! Car, please. I beg of you. Hey, let's go three wide in the turn one. That's not a bad idea at all, right? Especially my car's current condition of wanting to spin. Tokyo drift its way around Richmond. 
There we go. That was much, much better that time. We'll just keep doing that. We'll be okay. Oh dear, what's happening? We had an overtake happening on the freaking apron as cars were exiting the pits. I caused Axtrim to, like, check up. Hit the brakes. That was caused that. That was nearly a big accident. Frick. Oh, hey, it's the Fricker. Frick drive. Here come the June bug. Frick me, please. Okay. Uh, Ashton stuck behind back marker. I say back marker, it's one of the uh, undercut pitters. And now he's no longer stuck behind him. So now it's my turn to try to make my way around. Be careful to melt the tires. Hey, Kaiju. I carried more speed around three and four that time than usual. Kept it above 100 miles per hour. So I still still have some grip to spare, it's just a matter of controlling that grip. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. A little bit of a love tap. He's the earlier on the brakes than me. I got Junior on my inside, can I beat him in to clear him into turn one? Yes, oh no. I did not think of the consequences though. There happens to be a car directly in front of me. please. Hey, right, Dwayne. No hard feelings, right? Cool. Two and a half second gap. So not quite. Alright. Can I sneak onto pit lane here without getting punted to death? Oh god, I'm getting punted to death anyways. Since we are halfway, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak into the pits. Uh, do a half turn on wedge there to make maybe make my car a little more stable in the late run. Maybe. We shall see. I thought for a second there I was going to back bypass pit lane. I forgot I have like the second pit stall. And also that the first two pit stalls are kind of past the wall here. Because that's safe. No, oh, god damn it. I lost a lug nut. Okay, well that's gonna set me back a couple seconds. Alright, easy on the merge. Easy on the merge. Outside, good. Alright, that was a decent merge. Lost quite a few spots. Quite a few spots because of that drop lug nut. But he's fine. Try to take advantage of my grip and try to gain some of this track position back. Although it's not going to be easy at all. Can I get a run underneath? There we go. Oh god, locking him up into turn one. All right. GG me. Oh my Jesus. Still there. Still Can I get around Mr. Keller here? Without causing a hoopla. There is no, he's going to defend. Come on, 
Come on. Get that right now, turn four. Give it to me. Just gotta barely get my nose underneath and try to force him back up the track so I can actually get a proper entry. He's a twat. Also, I just realized more people are pitting. And have pitted. Nice. No, don't open the door. The car's in the track ahead. All right, probably just a few more guys left to have to pit. And yeah, I lost a lot of positions through uh, that pit cycle, just from the struggle of trying to control my car, plus yeah, the mistake on pit lane, which hey, it happens. You know, it's not like, you know, fucking have Kevin Harvick's pit crew, which makes a mistake on literally every pit stop. And is also slow. These guys are just kind of slow and make the occasional mistake. It's Harvick's pit crew, right? Or is it Kyle's? Kyle Bush's. I don't remember which modern NASCAR pit crew is shit. Oh, this is going to be an interesting dilemma. Yeah, no, I'm not going three wide. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Especially not in the middle. I'm just going to let them go. And try to pick them off one at a time. So, through the entire pit cycle, somehow Mark Martin has inherited the lead. And also, I've been shuffled back to 17th. So I go around Casey Atwood. Stay be stick behind Fidoa here as it goes for move on Tere Kuk. Speaking like a true NASCAR YouTuber, I gotta refer to all the drivers as the, by their full names. Make it as a fearful sound of oh, oh, fucking no. Anyways, shut up. I'm a NASCAR. Just any NASCAR. Anyways, something. I was going to say sneak if I can sneak underneath Fidoa, but it looks like he's trying to sneak underneath whoever that is in front of him, and I'm going to just be able to sneak underneath Fidoa. How you doing, Timmy? What's up? Oh, can I get the two-for-one special? Survey says, hell yeah. Nice. Oh, shit. Gave Harvick a little bump. Just a friendly little bump. It's like, hey Kev, I'm here. How you doing? Ooh, a bit of a slide. Look at that queer in the 63. I know, right? Bet he's gonna cause a yellow, dumbass. I mean, it's definitely very much within the realm of possibility. Let's be honest here. Might be able to make my way back to the top 10 before my car decides to give up. By my car, I mean my tires. Oh, a little too much speed. I felt the understeer a coming. Hey, Kev, how you doing? Hi, Kev, how you doing? Might be. Man, not only has Martin inherited the lead through the pit cycle, he's pulling away. Got a little bit of a gap here. As I drift into turn three. Ah, uh, this is not the preferred lane in this game. Also not the preferred lane in this game. Nor is it the preferred angle. Right, I think my car's starting to... Or, yeah, tires are starting to give up. So I don't think I'm going to be reaching the top ten unless... 
I, uh... Yeah, get my shit together here. So I should probably get my shish together. Oh yeah, the mini coop. That thing was always a, not a very good idea. The mini is just too small to have a coop version. That works. Don't let Kev get underneath. Cars are kind of piling up in front of me. That feeling your meme went right over his head, test drive. Rip. Alright, so I glanced over the scoring pylon as I was exiting two. Looks like Kyle's in second. Big shock, I know. Get unmeaned, fucking loser. Wow. So hostile. Hello, I'm slowing down just a bit too much. Yeah, looks like top three is Martin, Kyle, and Lewis, according to the scoring pylon. Let's try to protect my 12th place finish. Never mind. That was really bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Drop one of my Xbox controls, a chunk of the shell fell off. What'd you drop it on? Sandpaper? I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. It's Wednesday. Yes, it is, my dudes. It is Wednesday. Okay, what am I doing? I need to pay more attention to the game here. I'm starting to get distracted again. Because of that, there goes 12th, and there goes 13th as well. So I simply did not have a chance of defending against Fidoa. Let's go three wide to fix this. Coming soon to Frisky Nixon's epic NASCAR battles series. Oh, it's got a little train. By a little train, I mean a big train. Well, it was a train for about a straightaway, and then everyone decided to derail and actually go for some passes. Myself included. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to sneak underneath Harvick this time. Three to go. Here, Richmond. This is very much so Martin's race to lose. And I don't think he's going to lose it. And a top ten is still within grasp here. I just have to not do that. Two to go. Oh, that was a big dive into turn one. Holy crap. Almost punted the crap out of green in front of me. Alright, here we go. Final lap. Snag a top 10 in the cobbler. So far, yes. Underneath the Yaley in the turn one. Come on. Easy in the turn three. No oversteer, thank you. Ooh, am I going to get Junior as well for ninth? Yes. Three wide to the line. And finishing in eighth. With that three way photo finish. Ah. Hamilton beat me by .001 for 7th. Very good. That is... That was a nice finish. That was a good race. That was a good race, and a good recovery after that pit road mistake. 
back and it happens. So, Mark Martin wins from 22nd, thanks to that, I guess, just a really good undercut. Pit lane, Kyle Busch second, Ashton Lewis third, and there I am in eighth from pole by .001 to uh, Hamilton. That was, uh, that was good, so. Good finish to a good race. Again, this car is pretty damn good on short tracks and apparently it road courses as well. And it was Paul Menard that uh, blew up early in the race. I was right. Good. So let's check out the highlight reel. Alright, so celebrating our good top 10 finish in the garage. Hell yeah. Made over almost another 100,000 fans. 2,500 prestige. Yeah, boy. I don't fucking know. So, there we go. That was a... Uh, Two good bush races in a row. I lost points to Kyle in the championship because he finished in front of me, but honestly, I'm not expecting to win the bush title at all. In fact, I'm definitely not because I have to miss at least one or two races at some point So because of schedule conflicts. Yay! But for now, I hold on to second place, 159 behind Kyle, and 117 ahead of Casey Atwood in third. So that's cool. Got my third bush pole of the season. I've the most poles in the Bush series. And yeah, that was a good race. So that'll conclude this segment. Next time, we're actually going to go trucksin' again. So with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR. NASCAR.